Hey folks, Crazy Clamor 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 13 in our 20 from 1985 series. This is a very cool little uh, scrolling uh, kind of overhead action uh, game set in kind of feudal Japan. And this is called Sega Ninja. This is also just known as Ninja. And it is also known as Ninja Princess. And this was created by Sega. But um, this is really fun. I think for 1985 it has fantastic graphics uh, and music. The marquee is kind of stupid looking, but um, that is not the actual control panel. But it it might that might be from Shinobi. But it has the same eight-way joystick and three-button setup. One button will allow you to throw daggers, or if you get a certain power up, you can throw shurikens. Um, but that they will be in whichever direction you are facing. A second button will automatically throw your projectiles upwards on the screen. And that's very useful. And then the third button will uh, uh, allow you to cast a magic spell in which you are invisible and invincible for a couple of seconds. And you can move around on the screen while you're both invisible and invincible. And there will be various ninjas uh, or other enemies that are trying to, trying to kill you. Uh, an enemy that touches you doesn't might not necessarily kill you. They might have to like actually throw a weapon at you or make a slice at you with their uh, sword. And we'll go ahead and get started. I love I I just love the graphics and the music in this game. Just really fantastic. This was unfortunately not seen terribly often in the US. I do I do recall coming across it once. Um many uh many of the ninja enemies will leave a uh will leave some sort of bonus item or a power up. Mostly bonus items. Um, there will be like rice balls, uh, fans, uh, little white or black cans. I'm not sure what the hell they're supposed to be, but most important, there will be a scroll that you can sometimes pick up, and that will give you shurikens. And the shurikens are great because they can cut through multiple uh, multiple enemies. And they're really big. Uh, enemies that throw stars at you, you can you can block the stars with your uh, shurikens or daggers. Some of the enemies will disguise themselves as rocks, and they will pop out when you come close. Uh, you have a timer, but uh, you have plenty of time. If you do tarry, um, just keep moving up on up the screen as quickly as you can. At certain places in the game there will be hidden statues or something that you can that you can uncover for 3,000 points. Yeah, I'm running low on time, but I will uh, try to make my way up towards the top of the screen. Once you reach the end of the screen and it stops scrolling, you will see a uh, you will see a boss He's like a samurai, and he has blonde hair. And you hit him enough, and his hair will start to turn red. And if you hit him, hit him enough times, he will die. And you will beat the stage. Now, um, depending on how many misses you have had with your uh, daggers and or uh, shuriken... If you have really high accuracy, you can get some very nice bonus points at the end of the stage. And you will get 500 points per dagger icon that you will see. And uh, the more accurate you are with your shots, the more of those daggers you will get. And now this stage has uh, rice patties. I just love the love the level layout, the uh, attention to detail as to what uh, feudal Japan might have been back in the day. Oop, I died, but you, I uh, uncovered another hidden statue, and I think 
I think that's uh, 3,000 points for a hidden statue. Just certain areas that you can walk in on at each stage that'll uncover it. And there was my magic. Just uh, mastery of when you want to shoot in the direction you're facing with one button. And there's the uh, big shurikens again. When you want to... Uh, when you should want to uh, um, shoot, use the button to shoot straight up and when to use your magic. It's a very fetching uh, challenge dynamic. I really, really like this game. This is a lot of fun. And there again is the enemy disguising themselves as a rock. And uh, trying to get you to come close. Some enemies will have uh, certain interesting little uh, techniques that they use to try to get the drop on you. And some enemies will, like, try to circle around you to keep from getting hit. And try to attack you from behind. But yeah, once you get the uh, shurikens, the big shurikens, you can cut through multiple enemies with one. And there is, believe it or not... Ah, damn it, he got me. I feel sorry for her. She falls to her knees and just cries when she dies. <laughs> um, believe it or not, there is a way to to have a, a higher count of um, enemies hit than shurikens that you threw. And if you do that, you get a 50,000 point bonus. You will need to spend about, like, 8 to 10 shurikens to kill a boss. So, uh, uh, if you wanted to get that big bonus, then you'll, you'll want to be very, very judicious with your shots. And this stage has... Ah, I couldn't reach the uh, scroll in time. This stage has bouncing boulders, and you see where they land. Um, it's the, uh... uh technical aspect of collision detection is a bit off on this stage. So it looks like a, a boulder should sometimes bounce past you and it still nails you. It's kind of frustrating. But uh, I, I really like the uh, level design. There's so many different uh, level designs. Um, it might take place on the rapids. It might take place on a castle wall. It's very, very cool. Whoops. Damn it. Uh, the more damage you deal out to the boss, uh, the more he might shoot his uh, shurikens at you. Uh, you can touch the boss and not get killed. In fact, that might be a good idea. He has a, a spinning blade that flies around him. And of course, if it hits you, you lose a life. You can get a number of uh, extra lives by uh, getting high point totals. And now we have wolves coming down after me. It's probably a good idea to, to get higher up on the screen um, and draw the wolves into you and then go back down and maybe shoot straight up with the uh, shot button. And with the... Uh, giant shurikens, I can cut through multiple wolves with one shot. Uh, if you let him uh, close in and get to you, it still takes him like a second to bite you, I guess, and kill you. I just, I love the, the level design. This game is just so cool. This had a uh, port on the uh, Sega Master System Ah, yikes. See, he throws those shurikens a lot more. Um, it was called simply The Ninja. And it was very similar, except it, you were a male in that game, I believe. It would be kind of cool if this game was a two-player simultaneous play, which I believe it is not. Ah, damn it, and he got me again. Well, we'll try it again. But yeah, it's it's kind of a cool game dynamic, knowing when to shoot uh, in the direction you're facing, when to shoot uh, straight straight up, and when to use your uh, ninja magic. Yeah, I started using the uh, ninja magic to try to uh, avoid his uh, shurikens. 
See if you have a high percentage, you can get uh, really nice, uh, really nice bonus points at the end of a stage. Yeah, you can shoot through, I think, bushes, but you can't shoot through trees with your uh, shurikens or daggers. And again, to start off each stage, ah, crap, daggers are your, uh, or I think they're called kunai. They are your uh, default weapon until you pick up a scroll. And certain enemies will drop the, the scrolls or the uh, bonus points. But that is Sega Ninja, also known as just Ninja, or uh, also known as Ninja Princess. And you can continue, I think, at the very start of the stage that you left off when you lost your uh, last life. But you have to put in a credit, and I think you have to hold all the buttons and press start at the same time. But we will look at uh, snippets of the remainder of the levels. The game will not end, but you will get a little congratulatory message. And we'll go ahead and beat this boss where I left off. On Of the stage that I left off. Uh, I guess the daggers were 200 points. I was thinking they were 500 points. But uh, now this is a uh, kind of Frogger-like stage. But you cannot die from, like, falling off the logs. The game won't let you do that. It won't let you uh, follow, go over the falls or anything either. But we'll just we'll look at snippets of the remainder of the levels, and once you complete them all, you get a congratulatory message, and uh, you play them all over again with increased difficulty. But I, I just I can't get over how cool the level layouts are. Now we have uh, enemies that sneak out from under the uh, uh, building eaves to take shots at you, and this this takes place in kind of a, a square, or, or town uh, plaza or something. And then, here we have uh, charging horses. They'll, uh, they'll kill you if you let them stampede over you. But she has the same uh, death animation. She just falls to her knees and cries. <laughs> very, uh, very early game involving, uh, uh, or for a uh, female protagonist, although, of course, there was Ms. Pac-Man before this, but a uh, female ninja, also known as the uh, Kunoichi. I put on invincibility by this point. If you manage to get two enemies real close to each other, or kind of right on each other, now we have, uh, enemies that can kind of spin around you and throw, uh, shurikens around at you if you let them. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you let two enemies, there is me getting the, uh, getting the uh, special bonus for having more, more enemies hit than shots, and that is possible if you can take out multiple enemies with, uh, with one big shuriken and just keep, keep doing that as, as often as you can. And then you'll need to waste like eight, eight to ten shurikens on the boss. But it is possible to get that big bonus. Um. Yeah, an, an early example of a, a, a female protagonist in video games. And now we have uh, um. Now we have uh, uh, samurai too as enemies. But yeah, if you can get two enemies, like, right on top of each other, you might be able to take them both out with one, uh, shuriken, or even one dagger. But yeah, it's... I wouldn't go crazy in, in my quest to try to get that 50,000 points for that, uh, special bonus. But there it is again, and you'll get that, that guy with the, uh, Japanese fans dancing. <laughs> It is a nice bonus. And there are uh, extra lives given at various uh, point totals. 
yeah, when you uh, climb up the, the wall of the castle like that, it makes me think of uh, a stage on uh, The Legend of Kage. Uh, another uh, arcade uh, ninja game. But yeah, various places on each stage, I think every stage, will have uh, certain hidden statues of some sort that you can uh, uncover for 3,000 bonus points each. And uh, eventually, the bosses will not just have a flying uh, sword or dagger around them and throw uh, shurikens. Some of them will, I think, actually have pistols. Now we have these uh, railroad tracks, so maybe this isn't like ancient feudal Japan, more like uh, 1800s or something. But this game is is just it's a shame that it was just not not seen terribly often in uh, America because it's it's really quite a good game. And again, there is a port of this for the uh, Sega Master System just called The Ninja. I don't think I've played that one. I haven't I never really played the uh, Sega Master System back in the day. This might have uh, also been created by a company called Corland, who uh, collaborated with Sega on a number of games in the mid-80s. And that is the final boss of the game, and then the game starts over, I believe, after a congratulatory message. Or no, this is... But yeah, I put on invincibility by this point. The initial game through, or gameplay that I did, I did not use invincibility or any cheats whatsoever. But uh, I did just to show the uh, rest of the stages from the point where I left off. And now we are going to see the ending of Sega Ninja. <laughs> kind of a kabuki theater type setup here. <laughs> But this is a great game. If you've never played this, uh, definitely check it out. I really, I really, really like it. Great attention to detail by Sega for uh, for a mid '80s game. But yeah, you wanna you wanna master when to use each of those three buttons. Kind of a, a fetching challenge. Shooting straight in front of you, uh, the direction you're facing, the button that uh, shoots straight upward on the screen. And the uh, magic button to uh, avoid enemy attacks. But uh, that was the game Sega Ninja, which was game number 13 in our 20 from 1985 series. Well, I thank you for watching. Hope you had a great weekend. And I hope to catch you soon with game number 12. Y'all take it easy, everybody, and I will see you then. Bye bye, folks. Smooth operator